Hi everyone, here I am with another video. I spent a lot of time in my craft room yesterday making different projects and I wanted to do a couple videos for you today and I already promised on my blog that I would do these videos and get them up so the other ladies could see what um, I was doing yesterday. A couple weeks ago I made a little girl's baby shoe pin cushion out of a little girl's tennis shoe and when I was at Goodwill the other day I found a couple more pairs and one of the pairs I found was a pair of black patent leather shoes for a little girl and so I decided to make a pin cushion out of it and I want to share it with you now. Here we are. This is just a little girl's black patent leather shoe that I cleaned up a little bit. It wasn't really that bad. You figure a child this small doesn't wear shoes very long so they're not in real bad shape and I used the same material in this pin cushion as I did on the light green little girl's Lazy Susan because they're going to the same lady for the same little girl but I took the um, the shoe and I outlined the base of it with some more lace and then on top of that I did a string of pearls all the way around and then around uh, the opening here, I put some of the cream, the darker cream colored lace. It's sort of a fancy lace all the way around uh, the little shoe. And then I put a pair of large, a uh, set of larger pearls uh, around that as well. Now in the toe of the shoe, I put, I stuck, I always stuck it with cotton balls because you're not going to use the pin cushion that's done in here so I just use cotton balls to stuff the toe and then I make like a tube out of the material I stitch it inside out leave an opening and then I turn it back around again and I stuff it as tight as I can and once it's as tight as I can I, I shove it into the shoe and then I put the base of it down inside and that, that's when I put the, the pearls on. They come on after I after I get the pin cushion in. And I was able to get it in real well with no problem. I, I didn't even have to hot glue it in. It's, it's in there so tightly, which is really good. And then I took a piece of ribbon and I just outlined the, um, the strap that would go around the little girl's foot. I, I put some of the cream ribbon around there. There's a, like a little bow tie down here, and I took a white day, uh, well, it's a cream color daisy, and then a little um, white um, uh, brad, and I used that as the center of the flower, and I attached it to the little, the little bow tie there. And then around the back, I added another cream colored bow, and I had this gold metal bow that used to belong on a necklace that I got, I think it's from the jar jewelry my daughter got me in California last year. Um, well, no, it was this year she got it for me. And um, I decided to put the bow on top of the cream color bow because I wanted a little piece of jewelry there to make it, make it a little bit more girly girl. So, and of course, I added pin, stick pins, but these, for the little girl shoes, when I do the stick pins, I use a shorter stick pin they're about that short normally I get them there about that long but this one is shorter and it has the pearl on top and I made three little ones like this here I got two green uh, teardrop shaped beads and this is actually a, a petal a flower a flower petal that I used as um, a spacer between them there's that one and then over here I did another one similar to that with the spacer bead, but I used a crystal underneath the pearl and then a green, um, multi-green, uh, multicolored green pearl underneath that one. And then the center one I did a little bit different. I used a different color green pearl and then I had two, um, two uh, crystal beads that I put in between. So, because... I always, I, I got to add the stick pins when I do a, a pin cushion. So that is my second little girl's, uh, little girl's shoe pin cushion. 
and I'm really hoping that the young lady that's getting this will like it. And she can, if she's using cloth diapers when she's changing the baby, she can stick the pins in there. That way they're out of the baby's way and the baby won't get hurt. So, and I think it would make a cute little decoration. I would have never, ever thought of something like this in my baby's rooms when they were grown, when they were babies. So, I'm glad I'm able to do something like this for the young ladies in our church. So, I hope she likes it. But, I wanted to share it with you first because I appreciate all of you so much. I appreciate your comments and your encouraging words and comments that you send to me. And I want to thank you for stopping by again and uh, watching my video. I appreciate all of you very much. So thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day. Bye-bye.